Hey everyone, welcome back to The Tune Project. Today we're gonna to be talking all about chords and I'm gonna be showing you some basic chords that you should know on the fiddle. If you end up enjoying this video and finding it to be helpful, go ahead and give it a thumbs up below. And if you're not yet subscribed to The Tune Project, I post videos just like this one along with fiddle tutorials each week. So consider hitting that red subscribe button below along with the notification bell so that you always know when I post a new video. As a fiddle player, it's important to have at least a basic understanding of chords and how to play them on your instrument so that when you find yourself in a situation where you're playing with other people, being at a jam session or just to get together with other musician friends, it's really good to have that level of understanding of chords so that you can back up when necessary. And what I mean by backing up is playing chords along with someone else who's playing the melody. Oftentimes as fiddle players and as violinists, we are so focused on the melody of a tune that we really get fixated on that and caught up on that but when we are playing with other people it's necessary to be able to let other people have a turn playing the melody and in that situation it's a great opportunity to be able to play chords on your instrument and today we're going to be talking about that. So there are many many chord options that we have on the fiddle but today I'm just going to be giving you four of the most common chords that you will typically see in fiddle tunes and just in the style in general. Now there are many different note combinations that we have with the these chords that I'll be showing you today and many different places on your instrument that you can play them but today we're going to be sticking with the lower range so just between the D string and G string because typically that's where we like to stay when accompanying somebody who's playing the melody and this just ensures that we're not overpowering or competing with anyone who is playing the melody because as you probably know if you're familiar with double stops they tend to get pretty loud because we're playing two strings at once right so staying in that lower range just helps us to to be a little bit more subtle with our chords while still keeping it very rhythmic and helping out whoever is playing the melody. So the first chord I'm gonna be showing you today is a C major chord. And the three notes that we have in this chord are C, E, and G. But because we're only using two strings to play this chord, we're only gonna be picking out two of those notes. And the two notes we're gonna be using to play this chord are C on the G string and E on the D string. So you're gonna take your third finger on the G string, place it on your C, and then your first finger on the D string placed on an E. And it sounds like this. All right, so there's our C major chord. The next chord I'll be showing you is a G major chord. And the notes that we have here are G, B, and D. But today we're just gonna be again sticking with two just because we have two strings that we're working with. And the notes that we're gonna play are G and D. So in this case, it's just our open strings, and we'll go ahead and play those notes together. Pretty simple there. Another option, if you wanted to play that as an octave double stop, you could play open G with your third finger G on the D string. That's also a nice and easy way to play a G major chord. The next chord I'll be showing you is a D major chord, and for that one we have the notes D, F sharp, and A, and in this case we're going to be sticking with D and A. So we're going to place our first finger on the G string, we'll go ahead and play that A note, and then we have open D, and we play those two notes together. The last chord we're gonna be talking about today is an A major chord. And for this chord, we have the notes A, C sharp, and E. But again, we're just gonna be picking two of those because of our two strings. And for that, we're gonna be playing A, our first finger on the G string, and E, our first finger on the D string. So you're gonna place your first finger between both of those lower strings and play those strings together. So those are four of the more common chords that you will typically come across as a fiddle player if you are learning a tune for the first time and learning the chord progression along with it, or as I said, if you are playing with other people. So going beyond just the notes of these chords, it's good to have a rhythm pattern in mind so that you have a way to actually play the chords when you're in a situation where you'll need to do so. 
And for that, I'd recommend checking out my video where I talk all about the shuffle pattern. You can also check out the Georgia shuffle. Both of those are great go-tos if you're unfamiliar with a shuffle. But if you're playing a tune that's in a more upbeat style, a shuffle is always a great way to go. So I'm gonna show you a way that I'll transition between all four of these chords. So we're going from C to G to D to A using the shuffle pattern. So that's just a way that you can practice transitioning between those chords and just practicing creating those hand shapes and placing those fingers down and changing them around as necessary as you move from chord to chord. You won't necessarily be coming across that exact chord progression where all of those chords are in order. Oftentimes it'll be even a little simpler than that where you'll have maybe a measure of C if you're in the key of C for example and then a measure of G and then you'll come back to C and then maybe go to a different chord. It's all dependent on on the tune that you're playing and the specific progression that goes along with the melody of that tune. Well, I hope you enjoyed learning those common chords for the fiddle with me today. And let me know below, do you plan on using these chords in a jam session or something similar coming up? I would love to hear from you and I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Happy practicing. If you've made it this far, you must have enjoyed the video, so why not check out this one next? Also, if you'd like exclusive content from the Tune Project and a more personalized experience, head over to Patreon and join our wonderful little fiddle community. Your support helps me to continue to grow as a creator and ensures that I'm able to continue to provide free educational content here on YouTube. Thank you!